cell phones. My, how they've changed over the years since first being introduced in the 80s. First transforming only shape and size of the basic feature of calling, now melding into a world of possibilities that'll fit into the palm of your hand. And who would have ever guessed that this once science fiction scene of Metropolis, shot 80 years ago, would actually be possible? And it's not just about making a phone call anymore. That's right. Nowadays, it's about more. Much, much more. The term smartphone is used for these mobile devices, which have opened up a world of possibilities. However, while local cell phone providers say the majority of new cell phone sales are in this smart world, not everyone has made the switch just yet. But it's important to know what you want from a smartphone before you decide to buy. Take Sandy Plung, who's decided that she needs to be able to do more than just call. I want a smartphone. I want a smartphone, but I don't know anything about them, and I, I don't know which one to buy. Sandy, like 43% of current smartphone users, wants to be able to share on the go. Now, one of the most common things people use their smartphones for is for sharing pictures and video with their friends and family right away through things like Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of Tom right now. <laughs> Just like that, within seconds, my friends can check what I'm up to. Another top use of these handy devices is something else Sandy's been wanting to do, search on the go. I know I'm gonna want to have the internet because I know we've traveled a lot before and we go places and things come up that I, he wants to look up and I've got, I wish I had the internet that I could look up. You've probably heard of the term app before. Well, there are literally hundreds of thousands of these programs now available, mostly free or inexpensive, designed to address specific needs. And they're easy to find and install yourself. Need to make a dinner reservation? There's an app for that. Or how about checking the latest local news headlines? There's an app for that. And the most popular apps? Well, they save us from getting lost, helping to restore men's egos everywhere. Google's navigation and maps have transformed the way we get around. One of the most common uses for smartphones is to get where you need to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. I can either speak my destination or even type it. Desert Television. Head east on corporate way toward manufacturing room. And a smartphone's navigation and map system isn't just handy for when you're driving around town, but you might be walking around and need a little quick pick-me-up. Just search for coffee on your phone. The bottom line of all this technology crammed in such a little device is that experts predict by the end of this year, smartphone sales will actually outnumber PC sales worldwide. We have access to, you know, internet, um, texting, sending pictures, um, social networking. You don't have to be tied to your laptop at home. And though there are lots of carriers out there fighting over who has the best phone on the market, there's one thing they all agree on. Don't be afraid of testing, testing the waters on the phones. You, uh, you will keep you entertained all day long if you let it. So you control it. Estimates say 400 million people worldwide will soon be exploring the endless possibilities that these phones can do, which I can't possibly explain in just a few minutes here. But don't worry, I've got a ton more suggestions online right now at kpsplocal2.com. Just click on the hot button. I'm Renee Schiavone, kpsplocal2.com.